Hey folks, welcome back. Tell you what, I see all these chains out there, chain pizza companies coming out with all these cheeseburger pizzas. I've never had one, but I could tell you just by looking at them, they ain't got enough meat and stuff on them. So guys, tonight I'm gonna bring you my version of a cheeseburger pizza. Take it back. Bacon cheeseburger pizza. If you've been watching my channel, you know I don't get too technical on pizza dough, but uh, over here behind me, I got some uh, Jiffy pizza crust mix uh, over here rising over here behind me. So let's get started on the rest of this. All right guys, for our sauce, and this is a cheeseburger, it's about a half a cup of uh, just ketchup, brand of your choice. And I'm gonna add to that about two tablespoons of just yellow mustard, roughly. That should be that close. <laughs> I'll give that a good mix. Set that aside. All right, here's where I get to show off my new electric skillet. I believe I've lived all these years that I've never owned one until today. Guys, <laughs> I got a, just one pound of just very lean ground beef. This is like 96.4 ground beef, very lean. Start getting her chopped up. Been going a couple minutes I'm gonna go ahead and add this roughly a half a cup of this is a sweet onion that I've added just because that's what I had on hand get these in here and start caramelizing I'm gonna come in with just a little salt maybe a teaspoon if that just to give it a little bit of that steak seasoning. I'm using the McCormick's Montreal steak. You can use anything you like. We're winging this, guys. We're just gonna do this to this burger. It's browned off and the onions are <clears throat> about translucent. All right, guys, these are looking pretty good. I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna get this burger pulled out of here. Set it off to the side. Pizza dough going here. I'm not the best at this, but I bet we can get the job done. Got my little 12 inch pizza screen over here. If you've seen me, you know I love using those little pizza screens. This on here, somewhat halfway. Decent. I did spray this screen. Try and prevent some sticking. Okay guys, before we go any further, I'm gonna pre-bake this just for a few minutes to see if I can help my crust out a little bit. I've gotten advised on that one. Okay, I've already preset this at 450 degrees on the bake setting. I got it set for 20 minutes, but I'm not concerned about that. We're just gonna do this crust here for just a, a few minutes. Let it preheat for a second, we'll get her in. Down here just for a few minutes. Right, let's get busy making this pizza. A little pre bake on that. Okay, folks, remember this sauce we made just a little bit ago? I'll add some of this rotch there. Bacon cheeseburger pizza. I'm excited. If you've ever had one, you know what I'm talking about. If you've ever had one, you know more about this than I do. <laughs> I only know one way how to uh, build a pizza, and that's with my hands. I got my hamburger mixture. We got our onions that are all seasoned up. I don't know how much of this we're gonna use, but I bet we're using more beef than they are at those chain joints. That's probably gonna be plenty right there. If you 
hear the machine running behind me. I'm cooking the kids a little pepperoni pizza, so never mind that. This is the bacon left over from this morning's breakfast. This is about seven slices of bacon that I have chopped up somewhat fine. We ain't messing around, folks. Not messing around. I'm going to come in here, just a little sharp cheddar cheese. A little mozzarella cheese. That's just a little mozzarella provolone mix. It is pizza after all. And these are just some thinly sliced Roma tomatoes. Just a little bit more cheese over top. I'm not even sure this pizza is legal. And some more sharp cheddar. Get this thing on. Let's get this thing on in here. I hope it ain't too big. We'll check back in a few. Just for even cooking, since I made this thing so thick, I'm gonna spin this a little bit. Looking good. We ain't got too much more to go. All right, hey folks, we're about, uh, I don't know, uh, 11, almost 12 minutes into this. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. I think we are there. Let's get this guy out of here. away there. Let's cut into this. Got a little carried away there. Smells good. While you weren't looking, I'd almost forgotten about it. I drizzled a little bit more of that sauce over the top of it. Look at that, guys. Yeah, it's not, it's well done. I'm good with the crust. It's not as crisp as I want it, but that's okay. Give this thing a taste. It's starting to fall apart on me. <laughs> hot. That tastes like a, uh, a bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> that is, it's different. It's not something I'm going to do all the time. But would I do it again for someone else just to show them? Maybe, but it's not gonna be a regular, but it's, it's very good. For me, as good as it is, tell you what, I'd probably just make me a bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> it was something different, something I kinda of wanted to do. I've seen the big name pizza joints uh, coming out with them. And uh, so I just wanted to give this thing a try. I did a little research, very little, and I kinda of come up with my own thing. So. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, this is just something I had on my mind. I've seen the other chains out there doing it. And uh, I, I wanted to give it a shot to see what it tastes like. I uh, did very little research on this, but I kind of come up with my own thing. I uh, had thought of a, a cheeseburger, and that's what I went with. It's very tasty, but I'd probably just go buy a bacon cheeseburger <laughs> or make one of my own. So before I make another pizza, unless I'm just showing it to someone else. Very good go, guys. It's different. Uh, we got some other ideals as far as pizzas and other cooks in here. So, guys, as always, thank you so much. And we will see you on the next cook. God bless you, folks. Bye-bye.